So this energy uh, that we're coming into, it's a little bit more than a full moon. It is a full moon, but the full moon also is carrying other aspects. Highly significant for female people because of your female areas and because of really what you've endured throughout history. We have an aspect here that has a lot to do with what you've been subjected to as the Mars retrograde sort of, you know, stops dragging things, starts to make things move forward. You're going to you're going to lose your lunch one way or another, meaning that your gut's probably going to clear um, you may feel like you are older than your actual age. You can feel sluggish. You, your body can feel a bit achy or tender, and you can actually feel gassy, bloated, burping, belching, um, having gas from the other end as well. This is all a part of it. Um, I do have recommendations. Many of the recommendations are in one of my books called Inner Healing. Inner healing is exactly what it implies. It's to help alleviate the past, the ancestry, things that your ancestors have been uh, subjected to, and also to um, upgrade your own digestion, your circulation in the digestive system, get you back in the proper circadian rhythm so that you're aligning better with you know, the light of the season. What season are you in? Where are you at in the lunar cycle? Where are you at in your menstrual cycle? Help you to navigate more intuitively where you're actually getting prompts from your etheric body so that you know that you feel like, oh, it feels like I need to eat this way or not eat, okay? Being light actually does require you to eat light, high water content food from time to time through certain cycles so that you can get through it. So in that regard, I call, I kind of call this throwing out the ballast. You're throwing out some heaviness. You are releasing heaviness of the past. This is going to help you in zone three, which actually is your digestive, it's your assimilation, it is your um, ability to extract nutrients from the food, evacuate the waste from you. And for a lot of people, it doesn't function well. But there's other social, emotional aspects to it. Things like fear of outsiders, fear of foreigners, fear of the future, fear of um, politics or what politics will do, fear of the military, fear of what will happen, fear of the unknown, like all kinds of stuff is kind of built up and is knotted up in our gut. And your organs are not intended to store this up. There's a part of you that does um, have these memories. And sometimes those memories come through your ancestry and you're not intended to um, be subjected to them every moon cycle or every retrograde cycle. You're intended to be able to be alleviated from it. So I do have ways for you to do this. There are recommendations that I make. Slow down, um, respect the time that it takes, Make sure that you're staying properly hydrated. It's real easy to get dehydrated when that happens. How do you know? You start feeling like you're a little bit chilled, but it's not a fever. You take your fever temperature and there's no fever registering, but it's almost like feeling a chill in the air. You feel a little bit chilled or not, So, but you can feel some temperature fluctuations in your body. You can also feel um, weakened. Uh, something a little bit beyond fatigue, where you feel that somehow your energy is more drained out, but it's not caused by a person or an organization. It's just feeling like it's happening to you. Okay. You lose strength, you lose lifting strength, et cetera. You feel like your joints are too loose. Um, you feel old beyond your years. You feel klutzy. You feel forgetful. You feel like your short-term memory is like a little bit skewed. You can remember, but you can't remember. You wonder how you're going to get through work. Other things are that your gut absolutely liquefies and it can make you feel like you have diarrhea, stomach cramps, you ate something funny, and it's not that at all. Your body is ridding itself. So take the hint from your body. 
rehydrate yourself, allow that, stay near a bathroom and allow that to happen because there is more to this. Now, if you want to use this as an opportunity to integrate, um, my book has much information and there are also classes that we do to focus on integrating what is really there for you. How would you upgrade this and up level? Because you may think downloads are just doing that. They're not. You have to be proactive just as much as you have to proactively notice what's happening with you and not go into a fear mode where you think it's this or that. Um, even if there are reasons why these fears need to come out of you. How would you get to fear out? What if it's a phobia? What if it's a major trauma that happened and there's a phobia? We have, I have a session specifically for this. And this kind of energy can, um, it's not intended to deter people completely, but you can feel that. You can feel discouraged. You can feel as though um, you're sort of dangling. You are uncared for. You've been left behind many of these types of emotional feelings. And they are tied sometimes to the society you're from or the society you're trying to enter and be a part of, or even if you want to go off the grid, but yet you feel that you're being pushed in some way. If you've ever had a pregnancy, gotten pregnant, or delivered a live birth, or even had a stillbirth, or not birthed a baby when you've gotten pregnant, these are very deep things, and they will be addressed, and they need to be addressed properly because your symptoms could be very alarming for you. And I'm not saying this to scare you, I'm saying it to tell you there is a light at the end of the tunnel. If you do it properly, it, you can very swiftly move through it and regain twice your energy, regain your energy and your ability to digest better, eat things properly, and even more than that. So um, that is something that I'll say about the full moon of January with some, uh, it actually is Venus and Mars energy. So as we head into the first part of the year, that Venus rising energy, that's got to come. And there's been a lot of things ancestrally attached to that. So um, thank you so much. Bye.